Welcome to Kansas Speedway in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, the 1.5 mile tri-oval racetrack. Here we go, green flag is out, stage one is underway and the race is a go. Starting from 27th, this race qualifying could have been better, but it also could have been five positions worse. We got a very loose setup on this car today, but I think we have a competitive car that can get up front if we just work on it slowly. I'm going to try our best to keep this car very clean, try not to get any damage on it, and uh, hopefully stay competitive throughout the race and get up front slowly. Got a little nudge there from uh, someone. I didn't notice who. Already a shove there. Gave Austin Boyd a little shove there. I didn't really mean to, but came down to it. He was in the way, and he wasn't speeding up at all. I mean, you see, I'm cruising by him. He should have moved. Checked up or something. Coming up on uh, Jennifer Cord. Cord? Cobb. Cobb. I'm just Connor Cord. So I want to real quickly get it out there so I can hear you guys' opinions before half of you click away. What do you think of the news with NASCAR being sold by the France family or being potentially sold? They're looking into it, whatever you want to call it to an outside source. Some say Comcast might be a potential company looking into it. Let me know what you think in the comments. There will be a discussion video out at some point pertaining to this, but I wanted you guys to hear about it in this video if you didn't see that video. It's definitely some breaking NASCAR news, but I think it could potentially be very good for the sport and uh, help with the uh, ratings going down because uh, a breath of fresh air, you know, new owners, they're going to have big plans, especially if Comcast was to take it over. I think that would be great for the sport. Car got loose there. Coming to the turn at Kansas. Too wide here. Going to start finish line. Sixteen laps to go in stage one. This is a 84 lap, aka 50% rate, on two times wear. So it's accurately like a full a full race, but it's kind of sped up into half the time because I doubt anyone wants to stay here for two and a half hours, or so we can sit here for. A little under an hour and race this race so that's the stuff with that it'll be the same with the monster energy nascar cup series race at kansas It'll also be 50 percent race this week the channel has been uh rebranded completely well i shouldn't say rebranded completely racing's always been a thing on this channel but it's never been the sole thing the channel is officially from this point forward primarily a racing channel um it, it was it was turning into primarily a racing channel slowly and after really watching the analytics for a month, two months really, just slowly watching, releasing a bunch of different kinds of video, my NASCAR content performs two to three to five times better, depending on the video, than any other content I post. Usually one of my NASCAR videos will get more views than three of my other topic videos combined. So through a lot of thought, I've considered it, and I will be rebranding and remaking the channel into a full-time NASCAR channel. So... Lots of racing news, we'll talk about it all here, and uh, lots of racing. And all the updates for NASCAR Heat 3, which I have some information on already. There will be a video coming out this week pertaining to what we know is happening in NASCAR Heat 3 and what we know about it already. So you guys can be sure to check that video out. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and click that notification bell so you know every single time I upload, because this is a racing channel now, so if you're watching this video, you will enjoy this channel. And uh, also leave a comment for what you want me to do in the future. Whoa, got a little loose there at the car here. We're into the top 10, 10 though now, finally. Coming up behind Harrison Rhodes here. I think on some of these long runs, we could potentially run into some lap traffic if we don't get a caution. I mean, there's always the potential to get a caution in the run, but we've kept our car undamaged so far, checking that car status over there. We have 18 laps of fuel remaining. We're running a 209 oil temperature. Engine has no damage. We have 12 laps to go. So I'm not sure what the AI's thinking, but I'm thinking we should pit at the end of the stage. Not take the risk of a green flag uh, pit stop. We've seen how that's gone for me in the last two or three races I've done. Whoa, whether you caught them live or if you caught them uploaded, I would get wrecked on pretty much every green flag pit stop by the AI. And I uh, got pretty old. It happened at Talladega really bad. I was having a great race, and they wrecked me there, and I just never came back. I lost my patience as well, which affected things. I know a Gregson here. I guess. Whoa. He's trying to give him a helpful shove there, but I'm just going to go low on Gregson here and come up on Briscoe. Alright, I thought we had some lap cars in front of us. That's actually the rest of the pack. It's just a little split over here. A 
We might, I, I'm, I'm kind of split. We're either going to loosen up the car or tighten it up. I know those are two opposite things. It's about all I think I really need done with this car at the moment. Um, whoa, I'm thinking loose her potentially because it can help me get around the turns and give me a little more challenge. I'm thinking tighter because I don't have an exact reason, but the car has been sliding all over the place excessively. As much as I like a loose car, I need to find something to uh, get control of those, of those uh, tire temps there. Nearly 250 degrees. It actually will probably hit 250. Not quite, but really close to it. Especially that left inner wall and that right front tire. That wall is getting hot. You can f I felt it right there. The car got wicked loose. Once again, this is a, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video yet, or I just mentioned it in the qualifying video, but this is a setup that actually kind of feels realistic. The ra racing with this setup, it feels genuinely quite realistic. Kind of. To an extent. As far as getting loose and stuff like that, if I push it too hard and all that, it's awesome. I like it. It feels realistic. Here in Briscoe, a good shove here. Whoa, and not go as planned. I was hoping he'd push it too wide. He went right in behind, uh, who was that up there? Justin Haley. Almost caused a wreck. The other guy got the right idea. Menard. Well, whoever's crafting up there. Crafting, a Camping World Truck Series champion. Might work of him or Briscoe. It's a hard decision. Uh, Briscoe's a younger guy. Three wide at Kansas right now to pushing Briscoe hard. Whoa, I got a shove. Bad shove there. I came up on him. I thought we were clear of uh, Haley, but we were not at all. Let's give Haley a nice shove here, work with him a little bit. Go low. Whoa, I got loose as hell there. The important thing when you get really loose like that is to not overcorrect it, to be honest. Don't like be like, oh, I'm going to lose track position. Because what you'll end up doing there, overcorrect it and shoot up into that right wall over there and have to pit for like 30 seconds, which is unrealistic. It would be a car dead, but, you know, pit for 30 seconds in the game. Get your car fixed, go a lap down. Or at least go to the back of the pack. Coming up behind Justin Haley again. Give him a little shove there. He's telling me to go high. I'll go high, why not? I'm feeling low. Yeah, I don't know. Haley's really adamant about holding that line. I'm trying to push him on out of it, but it ain't working out. On the apron there, four laps to go in stage one at Kansas. This is it. This is one of my best tracks in NASCAR Heat 2, in NASCAR Heat Evolution, in NASCAR The Game. It's my best track overall in really any form of racing. I do really well at Kansas. Always had good luck here. It's definitely my favorite, one of my favorites, next to Daytona and Talladega because I love restrictor plates. We're clear apparently. Right around Briscoe, scooter right around. That was some cool crossover moves there. Side by side with him to the line. Three laps to go in stage one. He cleared him. Now just three more laps to go and not total the car. Not wreck it. It's very loose, I will admit, but we'll see where it goes. 66% left on that right front tire. It's definitely falling apart quick. It's difficult deciding whether or not to pit under green, but I'm thinking we're probably going to pit under yellow um, in the end of stage one. That's my thought. I just don't know what the AI is going to be thinking about doing. I'm probably just going to grab right sides only, because that should get us through if our left sides to the end of stage two. We'll grab... Actually, how's that going to work? Let me think about that for a minute. We have eight laps of fuel remaining. One can is gonna... That's a difficult decision. So we're gonna have... 
Six laps of fuel remaining. One can. Yeah, that's pushing it. One can get you about ten laps. Twelve laps. Nah, it's going to have to be a four tire pit stop, I'm thinking. Maybe we could grab one and a half cans, potentially still hold an edge, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to see what happens with it. But, the white flag is out in stage one. From 27th to 4th place, not bad. Pretty impressive, this number 28, Chevrolet Silverado. Coming to the line, we're going to get 4th place in stage one. What an improvement on our starting position, guys. Great race so far. We kept the car in one piece. It's perfectly fine. Let's see what the other drivers are thinking about for our pit strategy here. Now, I'm thinking pit. Everyone is pitting. Okay. 65 laps remaining in the race. Um, I'm kind of thinking grab everything. But, I don't know. Okay. It's a difficult decision. Fuck. We're going to go with that. Oh, everyone grabbed four tires. We grabbed two. Whatever. It is what it is. Grabbed uh, one and a half cans of fuel. So, should get us to the end of the stage. Here we go. Green flag is out in stage two. At Kansas in the Camping World Truck Series, we have 24 laps of estimated fuel. That'll get us right on through stage two. We got the lead right now as well. Just gotta see if the gamble pays off with uh, not getting those right uh, left fronts call. taken care of. I don't know what the hell that was about there. I know. We're in a bad position right now. A number four, whatever the hell he was thinking. Yeah, we're in a bad four wide. You kidding me? Three wide? Whew. That was some intense racing there. Christopher Bell. I'm not happy with that move he just pulled on us back there. It wasn't very nice of him, to say the least. I think the gamble could pay off, though. Luckily, I kept the car clean. No damage that's going to cause us any issues. Nothing showing up on the car status report up there. Push ourselves all the way up to second. Christopher Bell, once again, pushing it three wide. or into him again. Christopher Bell causing us a ton of problems at Kansas right now. Luckily, the car's still perfectly fine, but he's pushing our luck. Car's loose again. What the it's hell is happening there. here? I should have pitted those tires. This car is bad right now. I can hardly hold on to it. But I'm going to try something different here this time around. <laughs> I don't know. I tried. It didn't work too well. I see him. I didn't see him, actually. Whoa, whoa. Very descriptive of you to let me know. This car is terrible right now. Into the wall, finally. He knew it was going to happen eventually. This car is all over the place right now. I knew we'd get in there sooner or later, and it happens. Fuck. Should have grabbed all four. This car is terrible right now. We'll get that all fixed up. That can easily be fixed up in the pits. I think it was just a wheel well, really, that got damaged. Luckily, it wasn't a hard impact there. Although, when we're out of traffic, we're running fine. What really happened there was that number four got in and screwed us over hard. We got some time. This car is really loose, guys. This car is not holding on to itself well at all. It's like I'm dirt track racing right now. Sorry if I don't talk too much right now, guys. I am actually incredibly focused on not wrecking this car. It is a handful. It's taken pretty much everything I have to keep this baby straight. Definitely making some hard pit adjustments when we come down. Bad time to use the apron for a pass. Outside, still there. Clear high, quick. Clear. 
Okay, we made that lab work. Will that pass? It was it was complicated, but we made it stick. Basically, it's if I have to get off the. Th it's weird to explain how the car is loose right now. I think having such a big difference in the left and right side tires has uh, definitely caused me some issues, though. That's definitely the root of our problem here. Racing side by side, why would you push it three wide, man? Why push it three wide, huh? What's the purpose? Oh, I'm gonna keep pushing hard myself. Someone's pitting? Who's pitting? Whew, crossover move. We both pulled a crossover move on each other there. Me and John Hunter Nemechek, I believe. God, Jesus. This car is loose, and the way this AI's been racing me this stage has not been good for us. Now, maybe they didn't... I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why that person pitted either. I don't really know much of anything right now. I just know we got a, some right front damage, a very loose race car. This car is a handful. I'm really not exaggerating. I know I've said it about eight or nine times, but I want you guys to know that this car is actually difficult to drive. You can watch this thing get loose as hell. I, ca I can't even race from that view. Try to go low something on John Niebenchek here. Eh, he ain't getting much. If a caution came out, that'd be wicked helpful to us. Not so we could pit, just so we could get, like, back at the pack. But let's see what I can get done here. Leader is 4.5 seconds ahead of us. He's expanding his lead as of this moment. So I don't know if a stage win's really something we can get done here, but... Jesus Christ, such a loose car right now. This is loose, like, most people probably have pitted by now because of how loose this car is. I'm just trying to deal with it and not pit, but it's definitely a potential to have to. I I'll get a really good run in these turns, but it falls apart near the end. Usually right about here is where it gets wicked loose, but I guess it's holding on to it that turn we got it to work. I'm just going to stay up in the high lane here. We got five laps to go in stage two. I'm trying to get up as far as I can because we're making a four tire pit stop, full fuel and everything next stop, as well as fixing probably a second of damage on that right side. Probably just have to bang out those wheel wells there. We have no front damage, which is good. I oh, think, yeah. No, no front damage right now. We've gotten our way back into the top ten, though, at Kansas. Battling our way back slowly with this car. I think the tires are starting to equalize a little bit compared to how they were earlier, and that's been a big help for us. Oh, this is so much work. I'm, I'm finding a way to make the car work in these turns, though. Although, like I said, I do think that the newer tires are helping. And they're definitely equalizing here. Coming up on Effinger here. Try to work a draft of him. There's three laps to go in stage two right now. Keeping a very close eye on those tire statuses. I'd really love to get as many stage points as we can here. Hold on to it that time. Good job on us. Oh, once again, this number 28 hasn't been bad today. It's been pretty good. I I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. Just We got really roughed up bad by that number 4 earlier. And uh, there's going to be payback to give him when I get into him. He messed us up three times. 
What do you mean, clear a get down there? You nearly got us wrecked, Spotter. You almost caused us some big issues there. But the white flag is out this time by at Kansas in stage two. What a crazy stage for us this stage. We uh we got roughed up, little light contact with the wall, luckily no serious damage. Car's still running pretty good. Very loose, however. It's been a handful all race long. It's uh well all stage long, wicked loose. But we went from twenty second all the way back up to eighth after restarting first. It's been a uh, roller coaster of a stage, but we definitely made our improvements. We're going to come to the line in stage two to finish eighth. We're going to collect two or three stage points. Awesome. What a great comeback for our car. Three stage points. It's good. That gives us seven for the day, I believe, or eight for the day, maybe nine. Not everyone is pitting. Now some people are, so I'm thinking, I, real quick, real quick, I could pit green flag. I pitted something, I don't even know what I pitted, but I pitted it. I probably grabbed two freaking tires, but we're going to have to come back down again later. The green flag is back out, here we go. I ran out of time there to make a decision. Well, my overall plan is a green flag pit stop, but we can push it back a little longer now. Maybe wait till uh, run run out of fuel. We're gonna we're gonna be pushing it on those left side tires, but we can make it work and make it stick. So I'm gonna try my best to make something work there. Really loose in the pack. We have to remember though. That is how this car races. Uh oh, he's caused me issues in past races. Haha, <laughs> he has me nervous. I have had issues with that guy in the past. Coming up on Travis here. Oh, I'm gonna turn loose. We saved it, just barely. Travis is able to get back up there. Oh my god. These tires need to warm up or something, I don't know. I meant to grab four frickin' tires. I see him. I'm hoping he has the courtesy to move out of our way. There we go. I'm getting something to work here. I found a line that's kind of working for us. They were able to bang all the damage out of the car. It's completely new as far as aero damage goes, which is good news for us. Uh, until then... Briscoe, what are you doing? I'm just going to go up into the wall. We were doing really good till that point. They saw we were loose. I don't know what their deal was. Oh my god, now we're really loose. I was going to hold on to it here. That was unfortunate. I think we're going to hop in the pits here. Take four tires, repair damage, and full fuel. We just got screwed there by them. They saw we were loose and they just came sliding right up into us. Uh, really bad racing on the AI there. This car is bad with that damage. Alright, yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna raise that up to 41.9. Um, I'm gonna think about checking these up. Two runs each. And uh, we'll go with that. We're going to go a lap down. It is what it is. We'll uh, we'll get it back. Should there be a caution? If there's not a caution, we won't get it back. And this is a bad gamble. But, hey, we got hit hard there. And that car was not going to finish up racing well. So, it is what it is. We're going to see what we can get done here. Looking at an 18 second pit stop. I guess none of the damage was that severe. It, it was a rough up into the wall. But it felt severe to me. So, I felt we needed to come down to the pits. Alright, parent damage. Car is good, here we go. Definitely a lap down right now. We're rushing back onto the field right now. I 
Luckily, we're not too, too far back. We can catch up. I'm not too, too worried about it. Yeah, only some of them are the whole entire distance ahead of us, so... We, could, we should still be able to catch up eventually. It's been interesting stage 2 and 3 for us, though. We got wrecked, and honestly, it was quite literally the AI's fault. Partially, like, the setup's fault and all, but for the most part, when you really look at it and consider it, the AI was causing me a lot of issues. A lot of guys just pitted, though, and that's going to be beneficial to us. I'm going to stay running the high line here and get around a lot of them. Alright, we're back in contention here with that. We pitted a little bit before these other guys. I thought it was. Probably one of the fastest ones out here right now. That wedge adjustment has definitely tightened the car back up, has us being able to turn a lot easier here. We're back up to 28th as more cars merge on back, back ugh, as more cars merge back onto the field. Herbst. <laughs> Never heard of him. We're up on Deegan here. We're going to get draft on him again. Oh, yeah. We're running a lot of good laps now. We got a good car. Right around Austin Boyd here. We're really whipping this car hard right now. We know what we're doing. Make a pass on Cobb, right? Leaders are still up a lap. But they will have to pit eventually. Ooh, whoa. They got loose off that turn. Got a side draft in that 17 there. You can still see it's still a loose car. I just slid it right in front of him there. We got lucky. Currently battling in 20th at the moment. If one more caution comes out for whatever reason, that'd be very beneficial to us. Otherwise, we do have 33 laps to catch up, so we have a shot. I am just chucking this wheel all the way. We're probably eating away at our tires. Yeah, it could be worse. 260 degrees on that turn. I was doing a good job earlier taking care of these tires. I'm not doing it right now. Into the apron. Slide back up. That was a great pass. Even going to get one on Hill here. Caution is out. Great news for us. Oh, we're not the lucky dog, though. We really need to get up to 7th. Is it worth potentially pitting? No. Well, 18 laps. No, no sense. Alright, let's advance to the green flag here. I'm in 19th. When has odd position ever put me on the outside? What the hell? Oh well, the green flag is back out at Kansas in stage 3. Most of the field will lap down, but we're going to try to battle our way into the lucky dog position very fast. So on the next caution, should it come out, does come out, uh, we will get that position, get our lap back, and hopefully be in contention to win. A line up there got a huge run. Coming up on Grant Effinger here. We're going to throw a side draft on him right there. Slow, slowed him down enough for us to get by. We are running three wide at Kansas right now. Effinger got up into us hard there. Gave Smith a little shove there. Shoved him up high a little bit, trying to get him clear. We have a run. I didn't want to break it, so I'm pushing this car hard. Yep, they're telling me to race easier, but... I race this AI good all day, and they wreck me. So, we'd still be up front if it wasn't for them earlier. The number four, and then others. I think we're the first car. No, we're not. Whoa. 
great save by us uh, with our number 28 Chevy Silverado. My lord. So where are these other cars I'm trying to pass here? We got roads. A lot of these cars are really pushing it hard. Oof, that stresses me out so bad when that happens. 25 laps to go at Kansas. Trying to get back into 10th place here at Kansas. I'm going to go low on Yeely here. Come up on Rhodes. We got a draft on him. We're going to launch way down low. Try to force him our way him up to the track. We did it. Low on Gregson as well. Now come up on Cody Coughlin. Every car up to 7th place is a lap down right now. Coughlin is our uh, last car we have to pass, I think. I don't know. Who else is a lap down? I think Coughlin. Coughlin's got to be about the last car we can lap. Oh, the 7th place car. Kavapel. No, he got the lucky dog. Another shove on Coughlin there. Try to get by him if we can. Alright, that was an important one for us, was to get 8th place. Into 8th place now at Kansas. Great comeback for us in this car. A lot of hardships happened in Stage 2 going into the beginning of Stage 3, but with 22 laps to go, we are in the top 10. From a lap down, the entire field had us lapped, except the cars that are in the garage. And we, uh, we came back all the way up to 8th place. The car is loose though, man, I'll tell you. Even with uh, tightening up that wedge, that wedge adjustment, it's still a loose car. There's 20 laps to go in the race, hopefully a caution comes out. We need something. Actually, everyone's going to have to pit. How are we looking on pitting? Ten laps of fuel left. It's a solid point. He caused us issues earlier. I just paid him back right there. That's going to bring out a caution. <laughs> I remembered what he did. Uh, do I still get the lucky dog if I pit? What's the deal with that? I don't know. Everyone's pitting, so I'm pitting too. Two cans, four tires. Repair damage, yes. I took that four out. I told you guys I'd get him back. I saw him. I'm like, are you that fucker from earlier? I'm like, yes, you are. Accept that and go with it. All right, we did get the free pass in the end. So we're back on the lead lap in eighth place, starting from the rear end of the field. That number four, we got him back finally. I'm happy about that. But Green Flag is back out in stage three. Potentially the last restart should there not be another caution. Get low on Cabre there. 16 laps to go at Kansas Speedway. This 1.5 trial, 1.5 mile trial has been a little tricky today. 1.2 seconds ahead of us. All in 16 laps we can get back up there. go up high now. I'm weaving my way through this this pack. This has been an up and down roller coaster of a day and the wind would mean a lot. Whoa! Fryinson needs to move or something. Uh -oh. oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh, 15 seconds of damage too. Ooh, got to take a damp pit for the damage. I don't need fuel. I don't need tires, but we'll take them. Let's repair the damage. Let's go for it. That was 
bad. Green flag is back out in stage three. Maybe this time for the last time. It's definitely been a roller coaster of a day for our car. So uh, hopefully we can work our way back up there and get up front. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. What is Crafton doing? Pushing three wide right now. I get it. It's near the end of the race, but there's 11 laps to go and you shouldn't take yourself out yet. Diving down low. Three wide. Maybe pushing four at Kansas. It is staggered. What a commotion. Coming up on roads here. I'm going to give him a nice shove here to help him and help us. He's not doing a very good job of taking the shove. Christopher Bell once again. Still remember what he did to me earlier. We took him out and he he's fine actually. He spun into the wall. I guess he didn't retain too much damage. Oh, he pitted too, I guess. Still not happy with him. He messed us, fucked us over about two times. Low on Haley, up on Briscoe. What about that for a crossover moves? Loose car though. There is 10 laps to go at Kansas right now. Really, what a roller coaster race that. Whoa! Hard shove. Working hard of Haley. Crafted down low, pushing high. Another shove. Really close racing. All the top five in point two seconds of each other. Pushing hard to catch up to Briscoe here. I'm trying a couple different lines. We have to get in front of him at some point. I don't want to spend the car too quick. I think once our tires warm up, they're warm. Never mind. I was going to say once the tires warm up, it should be fine. But Yeah, I think it's actually starting to stick, this lap. It's actually stuck quite well. Gave him a little shove there. I'm trying to clear the rest of the pack. Oh, as much as I love... Ooh, into the wall. Car do fine? Car's fine. Very light brush, but it did get into the wall. I dropped my controller for like half a second. Oh, I'm sorry, Briscoe. I was not trying to do that. I was just trying to give him a nice shove to help him out. Just funny, I was genuinely trying to help him. Crafton pushing hard, seven laps to go in stage three at Kansas Speedway. It's going to come down to our blocking abilities for the rest of this race. Holding on to a slight lead at the moment. Although, Ryan Truex has a run right now. Trying my best just to not get the car loose and spin her out. Just hold her steady. Keep our blocks on Truex. He's going low. Going low to block him. I might have to push this lap a little harder than what I wanted to do. It's really important that we expand that lead back out. Five laps to go this time by at Kansas. When I say it's been a roller coaster of a race, it really has been. Involved in three wrecks, luckily none of them serious. And uh, luckily it got us through and uh, we're back on first place. Took a while to get here, but we're finally leading some laps in this race. We finished in the top ten both stages. And we're going to finish in the top ten for stage three hopefully and hopefully get the win. Four laps to go this time by. Car is starting to get really loose, however. And I have to find a Truex coming. I don't know if he's going to threaten us this lap. Four laps to go. He's coming for us, but I'm not trying. Uh oh, he got her inside there. We're side by side. Down the back stretch we come. Three time, three laps to go. 
and this time by at Kansas. Pushing the car hard right now. We're still battling side by side. To the line, the three laps to go. We're gonna get the lead back. We got our bumper in front of his nose. Good news. Three laps to go. I'm really trying not to have to do that with this car too, too much. We are wearing away at our tires. 270 degrees there. Very hot tires. Last thing we want is to spin out last lap or something, but. 280 degrees nearly on that left inner part of the right front tire. Two laps to go in stage two at Kansas Speedway in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. What a race it has been. Like I said, true roller coaster of a ride. We've been up and down throughout from back from nearly the last up to the top five to restart, get bumped back again to get all the way back up, get bumped back, get all the way back up, go a lap down, get it back, get in a wreck, take it back, and eventually get back up the first place. It's been an incredible race at Kansas. But coming to the line, the white flag is out this time at Kansas. Crazy race, guys. I say this number 28 Chevy Silverado has been great. It's really done the trick for us. Hot tires coming to the final turn at Kansas. Holding on to our lead on Truex here. He's going to try to dive bomb into our bumper. I don't know if it's going to work for him. He's coming low. It's going to be a close one side by side. Three cars for the battle. It's close, but we're going to seal it. Get the victory at Kansas. First place, what a roller coaster, a 105 speed rating. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. So wow. I don't that was that was genuinely crazy. I didn't think the race was gonna be that cool. That was awesome. But anyways guys, should you did, should you have enjoyed that episode, please sure to leave a like or and subscribe below. Click the notification bell so every single time I upload. If you stuck through this long, be sure to comment. I stuck through till the end, and you can uh, get a You'll be entered into a raffle to win a free copy of NASCAR Heat 3 when that comes out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Maybe throw some highlights into the race after here, depending if I feel like entering them in. But, adios.